Hi everyone, welcome to this video. I am going to show you how to set up Service Cloud Voice with Amazon Connect. Step by step procedure and demo. Before getting into the configurations, let's begin with the fundamentals. These are the topics we are going to discuss. What is Service Cloud Voice? Service Cloud Voice is a Salesforce feature that brings telephony natively into the service console. This means customer phone calls no longer to disconnected from the CRM. They are fully embedded. Agent can handle calls, view customer history, take notes and resolve cases all in one place without switching the tabs or systems. Voice is treated as another digital channel in Salesforce. Right alongside with email, chat and social media, this leads to faster resolutions, happier agents, and a more consistent customer experience. Next, type of telephony models in Salesforce. Salesforce offers three telephony models for service cloud voice, each with different level of controls and integrations. Service cloud voice with Amazon Connect. It is ideal for time users. Salesforce provisions and manage Amazon Connect for you. Setup is quick and simple and all-in-one box solution. Service Cloud Voice with Partner Telephony. It was for business with the existing telephony provider or integrate your current provider with Salesforce using managed package or custom setup. Salesforce Service Cloud Voice with Partner Telephony from Amazon Connect. You have already built in Amazon Contact Center for you and just want to plug into the Salesforce and reuse the existing setup. You can go with this. Next, why we need to go with Amazon Connect? Here are the some reasons. Unified billing. You have just received only one invoice from Salesforce. No need to manage telephony and CRM bills separately. All in one contact center. CRM and full telephony integration within the service console. One tool, one platform. Streamlined setup and quick agent management. Add or manage users directly within the Salesforce. And simplified support. Both CRM and telephony are supported by Salesforce. It will reduce the complexity of managing two vendors and uh, then supported Salesforce editions for Service Cloud Voice. Service Cloud Voice is available in Enterprise, Unlimited and Developer editions. And the add-on feature for Sales Cloud, Service Cloud, Government Cloud and Industry Clouds. Now we are going into the configuration steps. Pre request site steps are enable my domain, set up identity provider, enable omni channel, and create present statuses. First, we will see the enable my domain. I have logged into the Salesforce app. In the Salesforce app, go to setup in quick find, type my domain. You need to ensure this my domain is enabled. In this arc, the my domain is enabled already. Second step set up the identity provider. The Salesforce quick find. Type Identity Provider. In this arc, already the Identity Provider was set up. I will show the screenshot how it look like. Initially, when you open the Identity Provider, there is no Identity Provider is there. Click this, Enable Identity Provider. It will show the picklist field. You need to select the self-signed certificate offered by Salesforce. Otherwise, you can create your own identity provider. In this arc, I have choose Salesforce provided identity provider. Step 3. Enable Omnichannel. In the Salesforce quick find search Omnichannel. In the Omnichannel setup, you need to enable this checkbox. Before enable that checkbox, it look like this. The first step is create present statuses. In the omnichannel, the present statuses are there. You need to click new and give the status name like online, offline. And what was the status defined? Online or BC? You need to choose. After that, what are the channels that statuses will be available? Choose phone and click save. Once saved, it look like this. It is already created for phone channel and it was mentioning the online status for the agent. Once status is created, you need to assign to the profiles. In profile, choose a particular profile you want or who will be the user uh, going to use the service cloud voice. I am choosing the service Salesforce administrator. Here, enabled service person status. Already it was add. To add, click edit and just add it and save it. The next step was enable service cloud voice in the setup quick find search amazon setup these are the first 
steps create custom domain and enable omni channel we are already done these steps so it will check that the second thing enable service cloud voice initially this checkbox was unchecked i will show the screenshot this is the screenshot once you enable that checkbox it will show the pop up like this enter your root email address you need to give your email address that should not be in amazon connect once you enter the email it will create the amazon contact center for you and after completing this you will get the email then you need to register the tax number if you are you using the arc inside the inside us you just acknowledge it as the tax tax number clicks this button it will open the pop up like this and you just click the acknowledge button you are outside the sales sorry you are outside in us you need to submit the tax registration number in the aws after registering the tax number you need to assign the permission to set to the users by clicking this assign permissions you will read to the permission set assignment page here uh, contact center admin contact center agents contact center supervisor these are the permission sets used for this amazon service cloud voice here i already assigned contact center admin you can see already the user is assigned to this permission set after that create the contact center just by clicking this new button it will create the new contact center i will show the screenshots once you click the new button it will show this pop up and you need to name it and choose the region then choose the administrator this, this list shows only the user has the permission to service cloud voice then click done then it will create the service cloud voice contact center for you and you got the mail also once the contact center is created it will take some time after that you can check here amazon contact centers here your contact center is present this is your contact center we have already done the login into the contact center after that we need to claim the phone number and configure the inbound flow inbound means call incoming flow this was in, inside in the amazon connect to login into the amazon connect you need to go to the your amazon contact center and in the settings you need to click this link it will automatically logged in into the amazon connect account uh, this is the amazon connect console Yeah, you need to claim the phone number in channels you need to click phone numbers you need to click claim your number it will ask choose what channels are you want and what type of uh, number and country if you have any optional prefix you need to choose here and you need to assign the flow here the flow means how the incoming call routed to salesforce some customers use the ivr right so that time we need to define the ivr here only in the flows once you select the number it will show like this i already choose this number and the phone type is toll free and it is channel type is voice and the sample is we see inbound flow is show like this after that you need to create the contact center channels inside salesforce you just click add you need to choose one name and select the phone number and if you have any special routing type call routing then you need to choose here you can choose omni channel flow queue whatever you want before selecting you need to define it in your arc then click save it will create the phone channel for you after that in this page you can see all the contact center related informations here who and all are using this contact center the full user list will appear here after that adding the omni channel utility item in a quick find manager in app manager choose the Controller. I am choosing the sales controller. Under the utility items, you need to add this uh, Omni channel. Add utility item Omni channel. Just add it and uh, save it. Once you uh, completed this, here you can see your uh, Omni channel. To make this uh, agent as available, click available. Log into the contact center. Now you can able to make the call. You can see this contacts. Just opening on contacts. You can see now the click to dial functionality is enabled. and the, the agent is in uh, available once you click this number it will automatically initiate the call i'll show you the call was initiated and related uh, voice call record was created now i'm going to show how the inbound call look like i'm initiating the call from my mobile you can hear the ringing sound and uh, it will blink like this once you can click this the call will be attended 
and the related voice call record will open automatically you can see we have completed the service cloud voice uh, demo successfully thank you